All right, welcome back to Multiman Publishing Standard Combat Series North Africa. Uh, we are playing the Operation Crusader. Uh, we've just finished the British second activation, full activation, movement and combat. We're in their exploitation phase and uh, they got some big wins um, with the combined airstrikes artillery and attacks. It looks like pretty much I got a clear path into Bardia with an overrun. Um, although I better check the terrain effects chart on that. See if they can do that. And then uh, out here they were able to disorganize more of Africa Corps with Rommel. The big stack here was the big one. So Rommel was probably not counterattacking with this stack. And they've still got potentially maybe another overrun I'm going to do here, and an overrun I'm going to do here. And uh, we'll see how... This is pretty static right here in Tobruk. So if they take Bardia that and hold it to the end of the game, the Germans can't win. Because Bardia is how they win. But once they take Bardia, if they can cause these units to surrender, and or they'll have to reduce this pocket then they can go for their victory and try and have a uh, continuous road into Tobruk and relieve the siege, but we'll see if that happens. Okay, so let's <clears throat> address Bardia here. This is a permanent fort, so um, it isn't removed if the British move through it. Um, I, I'm assuming it's a permanent fort because I can't... Yeah, all I can do is center on the hex. I can't actually... Um, right click and remove it like the other ones I did up here so if we look at a city though there is no rule saying you can't overrun people in a city D times two they're disorganized so three is their defense and so we figure out here with God he's got uh, all of well a good chunk of second New Zealand here majority and they've got uh, 18 to 3, which is really overkill, especially if you've got God. Actually, God, I think all we want to do is get to 5 to 1. So we just need 15. But uh, that's great, because you can't get to 15. No, you can't. I'm for, I keep forgetting the rounding rules. So I can carve off, and I don't have to use God if I don't want to. So why am I doing this to minimize losses? So this one will go... This one and this one. So that's 14 to 3 when they move in here. Um, 14 to 3 is going to be rounding up a 5 to 1. And we're not risking this guy getting uh, wounded. So let's go ahead and do the roll. Okay, and disclaimer I'm running on a higher resolution screen now. So I can fit all this, but let me know if this is too small. So we do have a 5 to 1 versus uh, the units in Bardia, and I think movement's fine. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I mean, everybody's got plenty of movement here. So we're going to roll the dice on 5 to 1. Jeez. I was looking here saying, what happens if we get a 3? Okay. <laughs> Dodge that bullet. 4. I almost blew it. But a 4 is a D1 R1. And this guy can't get reduced anymore. He's dead. And then we, this guy, this is gone. And now we have to roll for the supply unit loss. Let me find that table real quick. There it is. Uh, displace. That's nice. It would be nice for the Germans if they could displace it. So this is going to be um, one die, I think. Yeah. Roll dice. Eliminated. That's not good for the Germans. They lost a supply unit. Now, I've got to check the rules, but in theory, um, capture award, they get two supply units. Anyway, by the rules, they have to move in. So Bardia has fallen. And now we move on. Let's move this stuff way over here. I think we can fit it all on the screen. So that's done. Now the other thing I wanted to do was... I guess I could take all of these units now since this 4611 is here. We need to 
close the door here um, and this would effectively I mean this guy can kind of leak out here but we do want to block there um, so we'll calculate that okay we're gonna take a calculated risk here this guy here this guy here um, and this will give me a four to one 11 to 3 roundup is a 4 to 1. Hopefully we got that low roll out of our system here. And then we need to find our any dandy die roller again. So now we have a 4 to 1 for this overrun. Um, let's pull up the CRT. And my die roller disappears. i got to come up with a better way to do this. 4 to 1, 2 dice. Okay, six, that's good enough. D1, R2, and they can advance all the way if they want. Um, oh, this guy's got a problem. So he takes his D1, but he can retreat here, but that's Zoc. He can retreat here, but that's Zoc. He can retreat here, but that's Zoc. So he takes another step loss, so he's effectively gone. And then these two units can, um, with an R2, they can pretty much advance all the way up here. Which is uh, what we want to do. Block these guys off. And then now we've got these guys here to kind of clean up and cover the flanks here. But there is actually one more. I don't know if I want to do it here. No, I probably want to do it here. I think I'm going to use this guy to take on uh, ARD's uh, motorized infantry regiment here that's looking kind of threatening. Um, problem is he has to advance, which gives a hole, and I don't know what these guys are going to do next turn. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, 8, 12 to 5. It's not good enough, so maybe I can just use two units. Let's use 8. And that's just enough to get to the 2 to 1 to get to the 3 to 1. Again, doing the roundup rules on that. And then keep the one step unit back here. And decide what to do with him later. Okay. So these guys are going here. And unfortunately, we're going to have to put Campbell on the line here. And see if we have any luck with that overrun. So again, this will be. Uh, Two to one up one, but we've got to see if something bad happens to General Campbell. Need two dice, we got it. 10, 11, or 12 are bad. Oh my goodness, leader is killed. Leader is killed. Leader Campbell, Campbell, Campbell. Campbell's dead, and then the question becomes, I think I'm pretty sure I can call off, let me check the leader rules. Well, to be honest, it kind of makes sense that the attack went through, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, nothing in the rule explicitly says, just says before the combat, see if the leader survives. So we do have a 2 to 1 here. So this could be, uh, it already could be bad news here for 7th Armored, killing Campbell, and then be nice to have that 11 again. Nope, 2 to 1 on 6. A1, D1. Okay, well that kind of takes the teeth out of them, but then it does also take the teeth out of that guy, so maybe shouldn't have done that. Um, so let's see what we got here. So they don't have to advance, so these guys can't really Go. So this guy um, can do something. So I've got left to move now. This guy, this guy, and this guy. Somebody has to occupy here. So let me think about where they want to go. Okay, these guys will move to defensive positions. Because Rommel's counterattack is coming. So this is a nice strong point in case these Italians get any ideas. Although they can't really do much anymore. Um, but it prevents them from running wild here, I guess. And this guy, uh, let's see, well, this guy is going to move here. Uh, this is interesting. Maybe I should 
No, he's in Zox, so he's he's not gonna be able to do any overrunning next turn. Um, and I don't think any Germans now can get through here, so I don't have to back him up, I don't think. Um, but the Germans are gonna do airstrikes, so question is, the only unit I have left is this guy to move. Alright, I don't know if this is a good idea, but um, I'm gonna move this guy here to backstop this guy, because if the Germans do want to attack, it'll probably be this stack and they'd want to come down the road. And that allows this guy to retreat. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So that defends there. So I think that is the end of the exploitation phase and there's a good chance the Brits get two supply units. I'm gonna check the scenario rules there. And we've removed the expended supplies too. So that should be the end of the British activation exploitation. They have taken Bardia. But now they have to figure out how to reduce this pocket here. Um, there are some good units. Well, there's two, there's three. This guy's just way too slow. He can't go anywhere. So I don't know if they've got... And they are starting to take losses too. And they really haven't faced Africa Corps yet. But at least they're not going to be doing anything to them. But the, Brewer, the Germans have to take at least a limited activation to get rid of these disorganized markers. And beyond that, I don't know what they can do. I mean, this seems to be the only path they can take here. Uh, let's see. So if they did, well, no, they can't. This guy could try an overrun. He'd retreat. He'd advance. And these guys come up, and then they do a big attack on this guy. So that... I don't know if that's best. This is, in my mind, the weakest point. Um, I'm just already doing German strategy here. And then we still got these guys here. Um, so i got to think about the Germans. I'll let it ride. So that's going to be it for the British exploitation phase. Um, we are at a good... 12 minutes, that's great. So, the British have made some real progress. Bardia has fallen. A good chunk of Africa Corps is disorganized, but um, the Germans, well, do they save their airstrikes and artillery for a full activation? And the Germans just lost a supply unit over here, which doesn't bode well. I don't know how much supply they have left. Wait a minute, where are their supply units? They only have two. Wow. That may have done it right there. Germans have a supply problem and this, and they gotta burn one supply at least to get the units off, but then they gotta burn another next turn. But they can't do both. But if they do both now, then they'll get their airstrikes and artillery, and they can attempt to disorganize the British somewhere. So the real constricting factor for the Germans is lack of supply and it didn't help losing this one because they could have burned one of these and one of these and gotten a full but now they can't. Uh, wow. Okay. Enough analysis. We're done. The British have done well but heroically Campbell tried to restart the attack on ART. Both sides took heavy losses including Campbell. So I guess he died a hero. All right. Thanks for listening. Any comments appreciated. Rules, problems, strategy. If you like, click like. And, of course, if you have not subscribed yet, please do. So you'll know when the next one comes. So thanks for listening. And we will see you back here for Rommel's, well, supply limited and disorganized response. Uh, we'll see what he can do. At this point, I think Rommel's just going to hope for a draw. All right, see you at the next one. Thanks for listening.